We're here today in Yerevan, the capital of the Republic of Armenia. This is the homeland of the Armenian people. We're very grateful that they're here and they can live in peace, but it's also, there's an air of sadness that hangs over the city because what is the Republic of Armenia today is a very small part of the historic homeland of the Armenian people. 120 years ago, you would have found hundreds of thousands of Armenians all across what is today the Republic of Turkey, especially in Eastern Turkey, also in Constantinople, in the Southwest, uh, in the region of Cilicia. And all of this was destroyed 100 years ago in what we call the Armenian Genocide. During World War I, the military dictatorship that was ruling the Ottoman Empire decided to destroy all the Christians living in Turkey. Over a million Armenians were killed, either by being massacred by Turkish troops and Kurdish irregulars, or marched into the desert where they died of thirst, of disease, of starvation, or were just killed by bandits along the way. Hundreds of thousands of Armenians were forcibly converted to Islam. Hundreds of thousands of women were enslaved and forced to marry Muslim men. And hundreds of thousands of more fled into Syria and from Syria into Lebanon, to France, to the United States, creating an enormous diaspora around the world today. And what's really tragic about the genocide is that the genocide process never really ended. Even today, the Republic of Armenia is threatened by the Republic of Turkey next door and also the Republic of Azerbaijan. There's a land called Nagorno-Karabakh where 120,000 Armenian Christians live. It's one of the last remnants of this great Armenian homeland that used to stretch from the Mediterranean Sea to the Caspian Sea. And now this region is under attack by Azerbaijan. The only road connecting that region to the outside world has been closed. Very little food and medicine is coming in. The gas is turned off. The electricity is turned off. The humanitarian disaster is unfolding before our very eyes. So the Armenian genocide is not a thing of the past. And as we stand here in Yerevan, in the capital of the Republic of Armenia, everyone is asking themselves, how much longer are we going to be able to survive here?